YouTube, it's Angie. This is a sort of spur of the moment video I decided to do today. I was on uh, Goodreads and I was trying to catch up on a number of the um, author blogs that I follow and one of the ones I follow is Carrie Drury. I've mentioned her in uh, her own underhyped authors video I did a while back. You might remember uh, I talked about A Brighter Fear and A Dream of Lights. Uh, she's actually got another one coming out pretty soon. I'm not exactly sure when, but I think it's called Cell 7. Carrie Drury had a post on her blog about this UK writer, Tommy Donba Donbavand. She mentioned that she was part of the Tommy vs. Cancer blog tour that was put together by a few different authors who know Tommy personally. The story with Tommy is he uh, he recently got, I think it was back in March, this March, he got diagnosed with inoperable throat cancer. He decided to put together a blog on his site sort of documenting everything that he was going through while he continues to battle cancer, his thoughts, the things his family's going through, all of that. Some of his colleagues in the writing community put together this blog tour to uh, support him and promote him and raise awareness for his books because the harsh reality is cancer sucks and cancer is expensive to kill. Behind this cancer story, like every cancer story, there's a family that needs to pay those bills. And I thought this was an important video to make because I've had numerous brushes with cancer affecting my own family and I know how painful that is, I know how expensive it gets, I know how ugly it is to watch somebody you love go through that. This blog tour is something simple we as a book community can do. What the blog tour is doing is uh, basically the idea is to go online or go to your local bookshop. Uh, he is a UK writer so American uh, buyers you might struggle a little bit to find his catalog in, in our stores here but he's <laughs> very prolific. He writes a lot of middle grade and YA, but he's also written plays and nonfiction. He writes a lot of paranormal books about vampires and werewolves and um, rampant viruses. <laughs> and he's got thriller books out. He wrote a comedy sci-fi series called Space Hoppers, if you like sci-fi. Anyway, the idea of the tour is to just pick something from his catalog that appeals to you, whether you buy it from a local store or uh, buy it online. Buy it and support him, bring him funds to help take care of his himself and his family and help pay his medical bills. I will also post his personal website, his, his blog that he's doing. He has a, a link on his website where he also lists other ways you can help, whether you want to donate through PayPal, if you want to support his Patreon. He has a number of different ways you can help support him. And I was just thinking I'd like to make a video about this because I, I've seen a number of booktube videos where people come out and say, you know, you should go buy this book because this person got dropped from their publisher and, uh, these books are not going to be in print anymore, which is also sad and aggravating. But in this case, we're talking about cancer. We're talking about an entire family affected. And, you know, he mentions on his blog that with, <laughs> I think in his blog, he says with one diagnosis, 50% of my income got slashed because he's trying to pay all of this off. Um, so I figured this would be a good thing for us as a book community to get behind, help them out, get the word out there, help a family out, whether, you know, wh wherever you are in the world, there is a way for you to help this family wherever you are in the world, whether you're in the US, UK, Canada, um, wherever you are. If you would like to help and you go to the local bookstore and they don't have anything, but you would still like to help, uh, one way I would suggest, is going through a book depository because uh, especially for U.S. buyers I did a little research myself and I tried to go on Amazon to look up his books through the U.S. Amazon and there's virtually no options to buy his books directly you almost have to buy all of them through secondhand suppliers which he wouldn't get the the um, residuals from that I don't think Unless, I think there's something that says if you buy it as a Kindle book, maybe he would. But um, 
I just skipped all that together and I just went straight to Book Depository and um, did it that way because I figured the percentage would probably be a little bit higher through Book Depository as far as what would be kicked back to him and his family. So uh, I ended up picking up a couple myself. I picked up Raven and I picked up Ward 13. I may pick up uh, some more later. I'm going to do that for now because I've I'm participating between now and August I'm participating in a few other things that I needed books for so I don't want to um, just go ridiculous and blow my book budget completely out of the water you know I still have to <laughs> be responsible with my own finances so I'm gonna do it a little little by little as I can afford to so I thought I would start with these couple that uh, interested me and um, what I was thinking of doing is maybe I'll do some review books for those as I get them. Um, I did order them through Book Depository, so it's probably going to take a minute for them to get here. Um, so that those videos will probably be down the road a little bit. But, you know, he says on his blog, even if <laughs> you buy it now and the residuals don't get to him till months later, it's still helping. Anything is helping. So I just thought I would make a quick video and post the link. I will also post Carrie Drury's blog post that has uh, information on it as well if you want to get behind this. And yeah, let me know what you guys pick out, what you think, and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys.